This set of golf clubs cost an insane amount of money, but today we're going to see if the Callaway Paradigm are going to help me break par. Let's get stuck in. So the clubs that I'm going to be using today for this challenge are the standard Callaway Paradigm driver, I've got the standard Paradigm 3 wood, I've got a Paradigm hybrid and then I've got a set of four all the way down to pitching wedge of the Paradigm iron. I've also got one of the new white hot Versa putters, I'll show you a little bit more in detail of each one as we go but we're here at Warrington from the 10th hole to par 4, it's drivable. Let's see if the, uh, the driver can live up to all its hype to start off with. I'm also going to be playing the new Callaway Chrome Soft Triple Track as well, so we are going full out Callaway. Ooh, a little bit up the right into the trees. Looked like he got a good bounce though. Not bad for a first swing of the day in the cold weather. A little bit up the right, but let's see what we can do. So a little bit of fortune now. We've actually ricocheted off the trees that are on the other side of the fairway and it's come out over here. So I've got a little pitch over this bunker, about 30 yards. One thing that I haven't got is any, uh, any specialty wedges. So I'm gonna have to get a little creative with the pitching wedge here. Open it up a little bit and just throw it up. As you can see as well, it is a little frosty. So it might bounce on a little bit firmer. That had a big bounce. That felt really nice actually for such a little shot. Let's go and find out if we're birdieing or not. Considering that's whacked into a tree, there's hardly any scuff marks, only tiny ones on the, uh, the chrome soft there. So that's a good sign for durability. If you're someone who hits a lot of trees, could be the one for you. Never know how to hit it on a frosty green. We'll take that though a little par with a, a loose drive to start off with. So I think, and comment down below if you agree with this, probably Paradigm has been the most talked about release of 2023. We've had Stealth 2, we've had Aerojet from Cobra, STZ, 223s from Mizuno, and plenty of others, G430s. But I think Paradigm has been the one that has captivated most of the headlines. Comment down below, do you agree with that? And have you tried any of it yet? So I think the big talking point was this, the Paradigm driver, and I've gone for the standard model here. In my review, I actually looked at the Triple Diamond model. There's three of them, the standard, the X, and the Triple Diamond. The X being the more draw version, Triple Diamond being the more low spin aimed at your better player. And I think the reason that it was such a big headline for Callaway was that it was something that we've not seen before. We had forged carbon, but we also had a 360 carbon chassis, so the bottom and the top are a piece of carbon without a framework in it, which unlike other drivers from the past, we've never seen this before. Now, actually on hitting, what I will say is that the Callaway Paradigm is probably the best feeling driver that I've tested out of all the ones that I've tested so far this year. Triple Diamond, very good, but not as forgiving as you would like maybe. The Paradigm is pretty forgiving and then the X is super forgiving. But I think as well, one of the things that's maybe split opinion is the looks of the driver. This sort of mottled look on the sole and then the actual crown of the driver with that weaved carbon look that is this sort of bluey tint. I think a lot of people either love it or they hate it, but hit a little comment down there for us. Are you, are you liking the Paradigm driver thus far? now I've got that draw on it again. Just seems to sit a little shut this driver for me. I always get too much draw on it, even set in the fade setting. Right, it's 155 and an absolutely, I think it's one degree. So I'm gonna chip a little seven iron to keep it under the trees here. These are shots that I'm interested in with these irons because with being a hollow bodied iron, are they actually able to be controlled or are we just seeing pure distance with them? We'll soon find out with this one. I'll tell you what, that felt brilliant as well. It's just dug right in at the front that. I thought that would have had a bounce on the old ice rink today. Must be a little bit soft up there for the first real shot there with a Paradigm iron. Felt as good as the driver. bolted it through the ice. Common saying when playing golf. 
I'm going to try this little beauty. This is a Paradigm 3 wood. One of the other big stories that's come from the Paradigm lineup is something that Callaway are known for. It's this AI technology. They have a supercomputer that maps the club faces, and what they've done is change the jailbreak. Now, the jailbreak's almost like these two little bars that used to be in the face and they've actually changed it now to make it better across the face and make it that the ball speed is going to be delivered faster off the face and they've managed to do that with the three woods as well now this is the standard one they do again have a couple of other models in this one but i must say me personally the looks of these clubs i absolutely love them and when you get this actually behind a golf ball i think it looks fantastic i do like the blue sort of look but the little framing at the top looks brilliant I'm going to have my first hit here with it, but I'll be interested to see how this little one performs. So interestingly, actually, in behind the golf ball, the face looks so shallow. Now, comment down below for me. Are you someone who uses a three wood a lot? Because the majority of players that I play with or teach would be people who are using three woods a lot of the time for more secondary shots. So I would sometimes suggest maybe getting rid of a three wood. Um, and move into maybe a five wood or four wood because it's tough to actually get it up in the air but the actual profile of this club looks like it's just going to pop the golf ball straight up in the air because of how shallow it is actually behind the golf ball which is interesting we'll give it a little clip off and see see if we do see a bit of a higher flight with it see if it just pops it up in the air a little bit easier Bob! Tell you what, I didn't quite catch that, but it flew about 245 that in the cold weather and felt good. Maybe a little bit too much cut on it, but I think the uh, the seal awards are definitely going to Paradigm. Definitely going to the old Paras. Pitch it to perfection with Paradigm. The three Ps. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Unbelievable, Jeff. Well, I couldn't have hit that more out of the toe and pulled it. Nothing to do with the ball or the putter. Completely me. A disappointing par after that pitch. 13th hole, 155 yards. I'm going to go just a nice little three-quartered eight here. It doesn't have to be smashed. Just a little cut. One thing about these as well, there is a, a more sort of player's version of the paradigm iron. Even the standard one. It doesn't look anywhere nearly as offset as you would see from a lot of sort of mid handicapper irons. It actually looks pretty neutral the way that they've done these, which is always nice to see. Let's see if I can get a good one away though. Oh, pulled it. Sit, sit. Might have just stayed short of the trap. Do you know what's been uh, quite enjoyable so far? Even the, the shots that haven't gone where I wanted. They've all felt great, so actually not hitting it fantastic, but it feels great. Levels it out a little bit. Pulled up shy, so we're okay. Gonna get the, the old Texas wedge on it. Come round. We'll make sure we hold that one. Tried to bounce back out, but it stayed in. We're okay, it's a par again. Little draw down the right side of the fairway. Felt great again. Felt absolutely great. Just can't get my perfect shape with it yet. It's down there though, it's done. Little bit bold, little bit bold. It's very hard putting on ice. Wee. So one thing that's known about Paradigm is the price and I'm going to go to one of my local retailers and I'm just going to have a little uh, total up of what this bag costs. Now they're not actually available at the time of recording so we can pre-order. The driver, oh, driver is 529. Yep, you heard me right, 529. The Paradigm 3 wood that I've got in is £320. Or well, 319 so we are now up to 838 pounds we've got two clubs in the bag the hybrid that i've got in the bag is 200 
and 69 pounds so we're now up to 1106 pounds i think with my quick math the callaway paradigm irons four to pitching wedge is 1,159 pounds. So we're 2,265 pounds. And then if we throw in a putter, a number seven is 249 pounds. I think we're 2,500 nearly now. And then if we throw in a dozen chrome softs, Callaway Chrome Soft Triple Track 47.99. So we're at the best part of 2,750, and I've got 11 golf clubs in my bag. It's quite pricey. Is that too much? Comment down below. Would you pay that or price something that you're actually getting quite conscious about now? Let's uh, let's carry on. Let's see if we can get under par. That's the one we wanted. That tiny fade down the middle again felt absolutely sublime that could be the ball that that could be the ball but no it's the, it's the paradigm it's worth two and a half grand for that so this is a club that excites me this is the paradigm hybrid and callaway a few years back maybe 10 15 years ago actually bought a company called adams golf now their old hybrids in the previous models have looked very boxy up at the toe end they've looked very square almost like iron like as where well. they've now changed it and gone for more of sort of a, a carry on from the fairway woods down into the hybrid so they're looking a little bit more rounded up at the toe it's looking a little bit more flush around that area instead of this sort of high upright toe from the hybrids of the past again it's got the jailbreak up at the top and it's got a little weight up near the front as well to have move around the uh, cg and one thing with all the woods as well they all come with this sure fit system that we've seen since sure fit started it's not changed with callaway and it's remained there so it's one that i'm actually when i saw it originally and putting it in behind the golf ball i just thought you know what i could actually use that it looks looks a bit more welcoming the old ones looked a bit i could say blocky and a bit cumbersome as well now this actually looks quite quite sleek behind the golf ball i've got 200 and 20 yards in this cold wind so this is a three i'm just going to try and pop this one up in the air and see how it stacks up i would imagine it's going to feel very much like the others it doesn't have the carbon crown so will it actually have that same feel that i've seen from the irons that i've seen from the fairways and the driver because if it does they've definitely won the feel awards not going to feel great when you dig it but do you know what for something that was hit pretty bad that's actually done all right you know right looks like we're playing another little pitch with the pitching wedge do you know what for something that was a little bit diggy with that hybrid it's, it's done its job it felt okay even on a poor strike and has actually got up pretty much all the way so float this little pitching wedge in and we're good could be close get in get in get in oh, it's just slipped out it's just slipped out <sighs> might just go full paradigm from now on here we go it's my new what's in the bag paradigm everything we're having a gimme there everyone but do you know what keep it legit nearly missed that there we go birdie we're back to level par only that sorry little three put on 11 that did us let's go on to 16 let's talk irons the irons we saw that they were packing a little bit of punch when it came to price now there is quite a bit of technology in this one we are seeing that it is a forged iron it comes with a forged face again callaway using their ai technology to put in a forged face cup so it's delivering best speeds across the face so when you're getting those missed strikes we're actually seeing that you're still delivering pretty decent ball speeds it is a hollow body designed as well and one of the things that they're talking about is tuning it so you're not seeing these huge jumps off in distance that sort of the p790s and its early iterations were known for also it's got urethane microspheres in there so there's like a piece of urethane underneath inside um, the sole here which is there to deliver that sort of soft feel that we would want from a forged club now as well it's got that smaller head 
and like I said to you earlier about it looking more like a player's club even though it is a bit more of the mid handicappers club you can get more of the players design one in the other model but it, uh, it is packing quite a bit of punch there so maybe that's why it is £1,159 but uh, it does feel great for me it looks great I am a fan of this sort of bluish colour but uh, comment down below would you be someone who's that bothered about a multi-material design when it comes to your face do you think you need the speed frame do you need the face cup or are you just going to go for a standard forged iron or even just a cast iron and you're not that fussed when it comes to technology let's uh let's get this 16th underway it's 155 yards we're gonna go eight time oh no that's up on the right hand side of mr green right so you what for 1150 can still miss a green with them just like any old iron just like any old iron nine iron bump into the bank and let it just trickle up we've seen the pitching wedge work wonders thus far let's see if this beauty can oh landed it a bit too far need to knock this one in otherwise it's just a straight give back after that nice little birdie on the last It was going that way and it stuck the indicator on and went left. Premature fist pump putter point thing. Oh dear, that's a bogey. That's a bogey, let's go on to the next. I'm gonna talk a little bit about this putter actually when we get to the next green because they're quite interesting and some interesting stats behind these. It must be serious now folks. I've gone to a gilet to try and get back to level par after that dreadful bogey. Let's hit this paradigm driver down there. It's going to feel great, I know that. Oh, it's a little draw down the right hand side. Oh, it's bouncing. We'll take that. That's stage one of the four stage project complete. We've got 216 to the flag. I'm going to go four iron. I feel like this is a good club, but this is one where potentially you might see the jump. So hopefully it should go middle of the green and just trickle up without a big flyer. If that's drawing in, it's lovely. It was at the right edge of the green. Struggled to see that in the sun, but felt fantastic again. That's one big takeaway. These clubs feel really, really good. Yet again, we find ourselves in a tricky predicament for a pitching wedge, but open it up flop it out i've got a bit of green to work with there just got to commit to letting it slide perfect distance shame i hit a block it's okay though we've got a chance of a birdie quite happy with that so the big story with the putters we see that the versa is now back in the odyssey lineup now if you didn't know what the versa was it came out maybe seven or eight years ago and we can see there a bit dalmatian like we've got black and we've got white then we've got black and the reasoning behind this is all to do with aim when we have just one color it doesn't focus our eyes as much as it would do with these split colors here now you might have heard of a guy called phil kenyon who is putting coach to pretty much anyone who is decent at golf He's got multiple major winners in his books and he's been instrumental in actually bringing this back because with all the stuff that he's done with his players, whether it be tour players or elite players, even amateurs that are like ourselves who play just on the weekend, he's known that when you're using a Versa model, it actually helps you align better. And I'll throw the number up here if I can find it, of actually the percentage of how much better people are at aiming from, I think it was 10 feet, it's staggering. It's something like 70% better. So we'll see the Versa line through a lot of the putters. And even the tri-hot putters that Odyssey and Callaway have brought out now, they almost feature a little bit of a Versa-like feel about them. They've got two colors, maybe a, a black and then sort of a lighter gray. So again, it gives your eye something a little bit more to focus on so if you are someone who is struggling with alignment definitely looking at a versa would be something that would be a, a big positive for you you will see the uh, the stroke lab shafts in them as well which is graphite to steel this is to help with the actual impact and not seeing that twists as much and you're going to see that they're all red just so you can notice that it's actually an odyssey now but let's see if it can help me with this one here 
it does stand out, you can see when it is square to be fair. It's Versa all the way, it's Versa all the way. We're back to level par, we've got the 18th hole to go. Let's see if we can make our par down there and we've shot level with a full bag of Paradigm. Right, 18th hole, let's box this off, little cut down the left. One of the scariest holes on the golf course here, the 18th. Out of bounds all down the right, bunkers all down the right, but you've got the world left. A bit like that, that's going to be middle to slightly left. Definitely is by far the best feeling driver that I've tested thus far. Can't quite tame it, but it feels outstanding. Right, 160 to the flag. I'm just going to hit a little three quarter seven. Just cut it off the centre. Just left side of the green. Got the yardage, just not the shape that we wanted. Again, felt felt so good that iron. Felt so good. Okay, so final thoughts on the paradigms. I think looks wise. I personally like them, but I think that's very subjective to the individual. Some might, some might not. Performance wise, um, nothing that you would go, oh my God, I need to go and get one of those clubs. We're seeing that from clubs every year now. They're not going to drastically give you 40, 50 yards off the tee. The irons aren't going to be the most forgiving you've ever hit and the straightest you've ever hit, but they do what the others have done. And then in terms of feel, I would say that they are by far, as a whole range driver, three wood hybrid irons, the best feeling products that I've tested thus far. So overall, I think it comes down to whether you're willing to part with as much as these clubs are gonna cost you if you're gonna buy them because they do what they say on the tin, they feel good, but they're a little bit pricey. Guys, I'm gonna hold that putt. See you in the next one. There we go, level par, thanks for watching.